Okay, I hope it works well. Okay, great. Uh, thank you so much for attending this session. It's a lightning talk and I already like uh, six minutes past, so uh, I will move things forward fast. Uh, this presentation is really about making an impact. And the poster comes from a, a mini series, which is actually a disaster movie. But as you will see, it's not a, a disaster for this case. Quick reminder, my name is Mateusz Stravinsky. I'm a Scrum Master at Curate Retail Group, which is, by the name, a group of several video uh, commerce and uh, e-commerce brands, including QVC, uh, which the story will be about. And whatever you want to stay in touch, feel free to uh, ping me on uh, LinkedIn or uh, Twitter. So if you want to make a real impact with Scrum, I'm strongly convinced that it's about inspecting and adapting continuously in an environment which is transparent. So we will see how it goes. And the story I want to present to you starts with a business need. The business need for our company in QVC was really simple and included Trust Pilot. I don't know if you are familiar with it or not. Generally speaking, it's a web page or a portal where customers can review and rate companies and services or products they provide. And what was the business need? It was that our rating at Trustpilot was poor. And I don't mean that business said it's poor or my impression were, uh, was that it was poor. It was actually said by the Trustpilot that it's actually poor. So we, a business came to us with a solution to this problem. We need to un integrate with Trustpilot to get more reviews. Me and my team started with one simple question. If we will integrate with Trustpilot and get more reviews, will we get the same exact rating but with more reviews or will the rating actually increase? Well, at this point, that was a great question, but nobody had a clue. But my question asks, because we already had a solution, which was to integrate with Trust Pilot. How we would approach this case? We would identify the scope of work and divide the work into sprints. How we would do it? With a very simple process. So with sprint one, we would do some research, investigation about the scope of work. We uh, divide the scope of work into a number of sprints. In sprint number n plus one, we would test everything, and in sprint number n plus two, we would release it, and case is closed, right? Because we will get to work in n plus two sprints. That's great, right? Problem solved. With a Scrum Master being happy that we're do, not doing any Scrum, but because we have three roles, we have five events, and we have three artifacts, right? But actually missing the fact that we would run into Scrum for. So maybe that was not the impact we were intended to do. And while we were discussing this case, a breaking news came out that Agile is in fact about meeting the customer needs. We were really fascinated by this news and went back to the actual problem that our rating at Trust Pilot is poor. So what we decided to do is to do a product discovery. Pretty ingenious idea, right? And whenever you want to do a product discovery, you can attend great conferences like this one. You can read inspiring books. You can go to a workshop or visit blogs and so on and so on. And there will be several dozens of methods for doing it. But generally speaking, if you want to make an impact, you start product discovery and you do the product discovery by answering one simple question. What do we need? What does our customer need? What do the business need? And we ask this question to the business. And we had an answer. So the business answered that they want better trust pilot reviews. And when do they want it? Of course, they want it now. So we were discussing this case with our development team, with our Scrum team, how we can get this need done. And guess what was the initial idea, how to get there? Pardon? 
Okay, great. What did the developers came up with? Yeah, that's right. This was the first idea that emerged. So we, we will create a form of bots, we will be, uh, which will be very easy to do, and they will post uh, automatic reviews with five stars, and we will get great uh, reviews on Trustpilot, right? But the business said it's not actually what they want. So to the question, what do we need? And after several iterations, we came up with a different answer because what the business really wanted is to engage our customers to create real reviews. And that was a totally different problem. But another question came up where we paraphrased Dirty Harry. We wanted to ask ourselves one question. Does integration with Trustpilot will engage anyone to do anything? At this point, we were not sure of the answer. So instead, for go, uh, instead of going for a uh, one solution, we create number we created numerous hypotheses on how we can engage our customers to post ourselves a review, and then we came up with this one with integration to with Trustpilot being one of them, which we would try as the first one because that what business suggested, but we had several other hypotheses on how we can engage people to do things. For example, if our reviews are poor, maybe we can use the feedback which is provided on Trustpilot to enhance our services so the feedback will be better. Maybe we can send a separate uh, link in order confirmation email which you get whenever you buy things at uh, any uh, internet store. Maybe we can create a separate campaign. Maybe we can uh, send coupons to reviewers or maybe we can have a special offers to our reviewers. And this is the question and the choice you always have that you uh, should ask yourself. Whether you want to have an impact with this approach, which can be called, as David said, like water scrum fall, but I call it scrumming. So literally an iterative project management approach where you can is, uh, inspect, but you inspect possibly only on the scope of work and the burn down you have. You can adapt, but what you adapt on, mainly on updating the timeline and what you put transparency on, on your backlog or epic utilization. Or you can take a different approach, which is actual Scrum. By definition from the Scrum Guide, a framework which generates value through adaptive solution for complex problems where you can expect, uh, inspect on true customer or business value. You can adapt by verifying each business hypothesis and you can build transparency, not only about what you're doing, but also about the outcome you're getting. So generally speaking, the choice is yours and I would love you to make the right one. Thank you so much.